welcome back to our next coffee dip here from ASN, in short, Architect Speed Modeling. So the first thing we do is we have to create a curb. So you go to the profiler and you create um, a curb. I did one quickly. There you go. And it's 150 mil high. I got two different pieces applied to different materials. And I will use this one now to create our sloping curve. I've got 3D here. Okay. Um, there's another quick tip while you're at it. I usually always draw my road as high as my grass or pavement or whatever. And then all you have to do is you click the road. And I just lower it now by 150 because my curve will be 150 high. So I lower it 150. There you go, see? Perfect. All right, I used the new railing tool for this. So we go to railing and the best way to, is, to do is just choose an empty one here. See, blank railing, filling your own design from scratch. So you double click on this, open the railing tool and it's all empty. So I want to place a rail at the bottom here. So we just go down here. All right. And instead of obviously having a rail, I want to have a profile rail. So I click here and we choose this curve I created before. Put it on a layer and pretty much click OK. So now if I go to 3D, let's just do this one first. I select this one. I'm doing this in 3D. Um, all you have to do is now use the space bar and you click actually, which is great. At the moment I show you it's default is static, so I'll leave this for now so I can show you what you have to do. So if I space click here, as you can see it goes straight and it doesn't really go along my slope. Also at the moment I can see there is a post in there, so let's undo this, go back in here and have a quick look. Yes, see there is still a post left. Let's make that invisible. Alright. So, before I do another space click, you just go from here, from static to associative. And now you can see, already before I even click, see it's going along the slope now. So space click, and there you go. It goes exactly along my slope. Now, a couple of things. We have another post in there, very interesting. I thought if I get an empty one, I should get no posts and posts at all so let's have a quick look oh we got here oh there's another one there hang on a second we shouldn't jump up because i got nothing here so let's have a quick look there must be somewhere another post down here post there we go so invisible let's try this again all right okay so that's better now two things i on purpose left this in here you can see this is not very good at the moment but i i know what it is but i wanted to show you that because it's default setting it might happen to you if you do this the first time so i've selected this and let's go back and i'll show you what it is it's the connections so i've used the inner uh, the rails there you go so from the rails you have now to go to connections and you go to rail see those 200 we have to do the zero here and do the same with the ends rail that's already on zero let's see what happens here see there you go so it's cleaned it all up and as you can see i'm at the moment 150 too high so you just drop you can drop the curve 150 or we could also say oh i'm going to my profile which is maybe a better idea and we drop this down to the origin here. Okay, so I drag this down, which will then be reflected as soon as we store the profile. Okay, there you go. So that's that's nicely going now along. Now what, what's important too is that, obviously it, it went all the way. So we just select this and I have to split this quickly. Let's just split it off this way, delete, and remove this in. Now you can see there's um, 
there is a sometimes on the corner here it doesn't draw very well but for me in 3d that doesn't really matter okay so that's that's now the nice curve now when you have little things like this you can see you obviously have to work on little things like this here so what you can do is you take this and you move that as example close I always don't go there I go always a little bit inside and let's just have a look so you move this back you know do the same up here let's see what it does here there you go it fixed it up already okay so you can do obviously the same on the other side to create another um, curve there railing and we just do this again there you go and you know you just do the same cut this off I don't have to show you that again but then um, that, that is quite nice to do a quick 3d railing all right I hope you enjoyed this little quick coffee tip and I um, see you back next time bye for now